Hello and welcome to eBay with Chris. I am on a journey to grow an eBay business from $0 to $3,000 in monthly profit. In today's video, we're going to the Goodwill Outlet bins. Let's go. Good morning. It's a rainy Monday morning, but I'm super excited because I am off to the Goodwill bins and I have 13 items to drop off at the post office. Okay, so I arrived at the Goodwill bins. I'm ready to jump inside. It looks like they just opened and the line is already inside. It's about 9.03. Okay, so I'm done with the Goodwill bins. It was a good day. Uh, it's about 145 right now, so I was in there for, oh boy, four hours and 45 minutes. I spent a total of $114.53 on 61.5 pounds of clothes. Now I have no idea how many items I got. Uh, we'll find out when okay, I get so home. I'm home, I'm back from the bins. I thought it would be fun to look at some of the stuff that I got. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, so for the first thing I got is this uh, Vans hoodie. Obviously, uh, Vans is a, a skating brand, pretty popular. I'm guessing about $15 to $20 for that, uh, maybe $25. Here's a Women's Columbia uh, fleece zip-up. Um, Columbia is pretty saturated, but I think I can get um, $20, $20 for this. We'll, we'll see. I picked up this uh, Redhead. So Redhead is a brand um, that has a lot of these nice heavy fleece shirts. Um, I already picked up one of these before, a similar one. Uh, so I think this will probably be a $20, $25 sale. I found this Roots Canada sleeveless hooded fleece. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll get for that, but I thought it was pretty cool. So we'll see. Let's see, okay, I got a Buffalo uh, David Baton, some jeans here. And these seem to have a pretty good sell-through rate. This was, oh, Volcom. So Volcom is another skating brand and these are some pretty cool uh, shorts. I'm not sure what I'll get for them, but um, I think they'll, they'll sell. Mostly what I'm looking for right now is stuff that'll sell through fast, somewhere in the $20 range. Um, that's that's kind of what I look for. The first thing that I look for is the sell-through rate. Here's Billabong. Speaking of sell-through rate, this probably is um, more of a long tail item, um, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see how the brand does. And then I also picked up another Vans hoodie. Got a pretty cool graphic there. Although the graphic is a little bit worn, um, but I thought it would do pretty well. It's a good size too. I think it's an extra large. Okay, this one, uh, this one actually I don't even know the brand, it's not on there, but the camo with the flag pocket is really cool, so I'm just going to use those kind of keywords. Um, this is a new to me brand, it's called LA Idol USA. Um, I don't know much about it, but it looked like the sell through rate was okay, it didn't seem to have a lot listed, um, but I thought it would sell, and I think this is like a $35 uh, pair of jeans. Uh, I picked up a Callaway, just a, a golf shirt. And again, I'm, I'm new to this, so you know, none of these are, I would call them bolos or be on the lookouts for. This is just me learning, uh, doing a lot of research, and uh, sometimes I make mistakes. Uh, for example, this pair of pants that I'm looking at right now. I totally missed that. <laughs> the back pocket just ripped out. Oh my goodness, Chris. Um, but these are called uh, Day Trip. They're uh, boot cut jeans and boot cut, I think, are popular, but obviously this is going to go in the trash. Oops. Uh, here's a, uh, a Torrid shirt. Torrid has a pretty good sell through rate as well. So when we look at sell through rate, we're looking at uh, how many items, similar items are listed right now, currently, and then how many um, does eBay show sold in the last 90 days? So if it's like 100 listed and 100 have sold, that's a really good sell-through rate. That means you'll, your item is probably gonna sell within 90 days. This is a Nike uh, cowl neck hoodie. Let's 
see, here's a pair of Dickies. So anytime I can pick up uh, Dickies pants, they go pretty fast. So I'll pick them up uh, no matter what color or size. Uh, so far I've sold several of them, so I continue just to pick them up. Got uh, so, oh, some Lucky Brand jeans. Uh, these do have some uh, cuts in them. I think these might have been done uh, by the previous owner, but I don't think that was going to take away from the value of them. Lucky Brand jeans are um, move pretty fast as well. I picked up a couple bicycle shirts. This is the first one here. Uh, this is a STP 2002. Uh, we'll see how this one does. I'm not sure, but it's super light, um, so easy to list. I think uh, you know my cost on these shirts. Oh, here's the other one. Is you know maybe 50 cents, 75 cents. So I pay. Um, I bought more than 50 pounds today. So that means my buy cost per pound is $1.69. Uh, here's a Wrangler um, kind of heavy uh, shirt, I guess. <laughs> Some people might call it a jacket, so I wasn't sure if I should call it a jacket or a shirt. Uh, oh, and here's another pair of Lucky Brand jeans. Okay, I got a, a Nike. This is a Nike, uh, this is kind of a pullover uh, quarter zip. Uh, I think it's Nike Golf actually. So perfect uh, golf season. I've already sold a couple of uh, Nike Golf items. So whenever I see them, I grab them. Uh, this one I'm not quite sure about. This is a no fear hooded uh, sweater type thing. Um, I did look up this, the no fear brand and the sell through rate was um, pretty good. Uh, and they seem to be going for like $40. So we'll find out. A couple more items in this bag. Ah, uh, this is a, what is this here? Oh, Faded Glory. So, so Faded Glory is not a brand you want to pick up. The only reason I got these is because of carpenter jeans and they're lined. So that's going to be the keywords I focus on is the lined carpenter jeans. Um, and they're in pretty good condition. So these, this is basically workwear. That's another keyword I'm going to use to uh, um, help people find it. Although it is getting into the warmer season, so they might sit over the over uh, the summer. We'll see. Uh, here's a pair of Wrangler uh, Q Baby Q Baby jeans. Uh, these seem to have a pretty good sell-through rate as well, and prices were in the $35 range. So the first thing I look for is sell-through rate. That's what I want to see, a good sell-through rate. And then um, uh, if the sell-through rate is not good, but the prices are really good, then I'll, I'll take a chance on it and let it, knowing that it could possibly sit. Um, if the sell-through rate is, is not good and the prices are low, then that's a no for me. Uh, this is actually a jean skirt. Um, Cabby is, a, is the brand. I'm not too familiar with it, but there was probably like 50 listed and about 50 had sold recently. So, okay, I'm gonna get bag number okay, two. Okay, so we're back for bag number two. Let's check it out. So the first thing I got is this uh, Disney Parks Pirates of the Caribbean cutoff shirt. I have a, what is this brand? Um, Oh, Fab, Fabletic, Fabletics, is that what it's called? Um, just a pair of uh, tights. So I picked up a number of Fabletics items this time. Um, here is, so I got a couple shirts that are more of like a brewery type uh, of design. And so here's a Narrows Brewing Company from Tacoma. And this one is an interesting uh, uh, brand. What does it say? I can't remember. Um, Pepe, Pepe Jeans, I think is what it's called. <laughs> but I mostly got it because of the graphics. Pepe Jeans of London, that's what it is. Um, but the, there wasn't a lot listed uh, and the search was kind of weird on eBay. Uh, but the graphics I thought were pretty cool. So I figured I'd give that a shot. Uh, here's a Seattle Dragons. This is an XFL team. Um, I looked it up and it looks like uh, these are going for uh, used, they're going for around $30. And they had a good sell through rate. Now this was an interesting pair of jeans right here, it's called Revit. And it's, 
These were sitting at the edge of a bin. I think someone must have discarded them. Maybe they had them in their cart and they got rid of them. Um, but one thing I noticed when I picked them up, there's these hard things kind of on the hips. And I'm like, what is this about? And I realized they're motorcycle jeans. So they have protection on the hips as well as the knees right here. Oops, I think I got it backwards. So um, I looked these up and there's not a lot listed, maybe like 10 or so listed, probably three sold in the last 90 days, but they're going for like $100. So we'll see how this does. Uh, here's a Marmot, uh, Marmot branded, just basically a, uh, a light rain jacket. I picked up some Levi's. Now, I normally don't pick up Levi's, but these are um, a boyfriend, the boyfriend jeans. And I looked these up and these have a good, uh, specifically the boyfriend jeans, they have a good uh, sell-through rate. Basically, you know, there's like 100 listed and 100 have sold in the last 90 days. And I did look up that specific size as well, uh, just to make sure that they were moving. Uh, here's a um, Columbia zip-off pants. You know, they... Uh, um, turn into shorts when you need them. But what's good about these is these are the um, uh, performance uh, performance fishing gear. So Columbia has a PFG brand performance fishing gear. And these are uh, great hiking pants, fishing pants, obviously. Um, and they're very popular. I think those were women's actually. Uh, here's another, uh, oh, a Nike uh, Thermofit stretch pants, workout pants. I think these are, yeah, they must be three quarter length. Uh, LL Bean, just a polo, but it's long sleeve. This one, I'm a little, I hesitated on this one because I wasn't quite sure looking at the comps and everything. Um, this is probably more like a $15 shirt. I'm going to price it at 20 and I'll take a, a $15 offer. Uh, oh, Prada. Am I saying that right? Is that what these are? No, Prana. <laughs> Prana jeans. Um, these are pretty popular as well. As soon as I saw the brand, I just grabbed them. They're like a micro corduroy. Look at me learning all these uh, clothing terms. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Okay, uh, Calvin Klein. This is just a, uh, a sleeveless vest. It's got all the, the little embellishments here in good condition. Ah, a Wrangler. This is like a Wrangler, also a vest too, a sleeveless vest, but this is a Wrangler uh, workwear. I looked these up and uh, these have like a 200% sell through rate. So if there's like 50 listed, 100 sold in the last uh, 90 days. So that should sell pretty quick. Uh, Fox Racing, this is a popular brand as well. Also has a good sell through rate. Now this is something uh, I hesitated on this one too, but it's called Bob Mackey. I went ahead and looked it up. And they do have, a, it has a pretty good sell through right here. It's got these different like little jewels on it, but it's just a fleece shirt. And so we'll see how that does. We're gonna see how all of it does actually, because I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Dickies jeans, or not jeans, but uh, khakis. Like I said earlier, anything that's uh, Dickies khakis, I just grab them right away. It's a no brainer for me. Um, here's some uh, her, yeah. Hurley swim trunks. We're getting into that season. So these should uh, go off, fly off the shelf here pretty quickly. Uh, 32 degree heat. So I've actually had good luck with this. These, uh, these are typically like 90% down. They're super light. Um, this is a women's. Uh, these for me, um, in my short time of selling, have sold pretty quickly. This is kind of fun. A Darth Vader um, hoodie. Just kind of a plain hood though, it doesn't have like the Darth Vader helmet. Um, but this had a good sell through rate um, and sold for pretty good as well. This is a, another brand that I've been picking up. This is called um, Empire. I picked up a corduroy pants and a couple other, this is a skating brand. So um, has, this one actually has really good graphics. See that, it's pretty cool. So I think this one will sell pretty well as well. I got this Adidas hoodie and actually I threw it back, but then I went back and picked it up. Um, there's a ton of Adidas on, on eBay right now, um, but this one is a little bit different. It's not the standard look. 
So I'm just hoping that someone will see that and want it. I mostly grab these because they're pink flamingos and why not? Swim trunks, swim trunks. Uh, Victoria's Secret uh, pink, just a kind of a crop um, sweatshirt. A jacket here. This is a oh, Calvin Klein women's jacket. I got a uh, some kind of a fleece here. What is this? I can't remember. And I'm not seeing the brand. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, well, I got this for some reason, <laughs> but it's a fleece. <laughs> I'll have to do more research on it. And this one's a no-brainer. I got it as soon as I saw that tag. I just grab it. Carhartt. And it's got the Carhartt on the sleeve. This one will go fast. Okay, let's get into bag number three. Okay, so this is probably the score of the day. Now, typically when I'm in the bins, I just basically will go to, go to a bin that's been out for a while, and I'll go through everything single thing in that section that's right in front of me all the way down to the bottom and that's where i'll find a lot of the smaller things like uh the shorts and maybe a nike uh, uh golf polo that kind of stuff that uh, gets overlooked when people are um, flying through the bins and looking for the big ticket items so typically what happens is that they will roll out another set of bins and they'll say go and everyone will dive in and when that happens i'll jump in there too um, but I typically don't find a lot during that kind of mad rush because everyone's looking for the big ticket items. They're looking for things like North Face, Carhartt, you know, anything that is like obviously big money. Um, but most of my time is spent uh, just digging through, slowly digging through, looking at all the brands, looking things up, learning as I go. And I find a lot of like things that are missed. Um, and, but this time, I got lucky. So I found a North Face. Look at this. North Face full on, full length women's coat. Probably uh, $150. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Okay. Uh, Juicy Couture. Again, this is at the bottom of a bin. Um, another uh, Under Armour. Oh, this is an Under Armour women's jacket. What brand is this? Let's see here. Kind of this nice coral color. Oh, Fab Fabletics. So I picked up another Fabletics item. Here's a Montana State hoodie. And I, I picked this up because it's a, it's a college and it's kind of a smaller college, obviously. And I did look at the comparables, and there's uh, just a few of these listed, so I think it'll sell pretty quickly. Grab this uh, Nike, I think it's actually Nike Golf ring, ring jacket. Super thin. Let's see, what is this? Here? Oh, this is a, uh, a brand I hadn't heard of before, and I guess it's out of Portland, but it's called... Um, Victos, Victos is the name of it. I don't know if you can see it there, um, but these jackets look like they were going for 150. So we'll see. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Yep, the bag is empty. So the last item I got was Victoria Secret Sport leggings. Probably a twenty dollar bill here. Okay, so let me count them all up and let you know how I did. Okay, so I added up all the items. I got a total of 58 items. The total cost was $114. And so that's an average of $1.98 per item. I got 61 and a half pounds. Um, yeah, oh, and that one fleece that I was looking at, that blue fleece, that was actually a Calvin Klein performance fleece. So that should go for probably about $25. So I thought it was a good haul. I'm excited to uh, see how it all sells. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching eBay with Chris. If you want to watch the video that explains how and why I started on this eBay journey and my plan to go from $0 to $3,000 in monthly profit, click on the link right here. Thanks. Bye.